<laughs> no, they, they do say though the, the damage is cumulative. It's a cumul cumulative over I think a period of like ten years from the initial incident. So like say if you have a really bad car accident, your brain will continue to deteriorate for ten years from the effects of that accident. I, when when a guy told me that, I was like, "How do you know?" And I don't know how they know. I don't remember. He kind of explained it, but I was like, Wait, "So you mean a guy who gets knocked out?" We were at the fights when he's telling me this. <clears throat> so I'm like, "You tell me a guy who gets knocked out today is going to feel the real repercussions of that knockout in ten years?" He's like, "Yes, it's very possible that's the case." Wow, it's going to take ten years to show its full effects. So if you see someone who's fucked up now, like if they've got brain damage now. Like, as time goes on, it's going to be like, like, Muhammad Ali was one of the weirder ones because he had developed a neurological disease. He developed Parkinson's. But there's, there's trauma-induced Parkinson's. A lot of people are trying to say, no, 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 Ali got Parkinson's. It was a disease. Yeah, maybe. But you know who else has Parkinson's? Freddie Roach, the boxing coach. And he openly discusses the fact that it's trauma-induced. He got it from his long boxing career. Just because it's a brain disease doesn't mean the brain disease didn't come from getting the fuck beat out of your brain. I mean, imagine if you had a, a game that you played where people like to kick you in the liver. This is the game. You know, you kick me in the liver, I kick you in the liver. And then later on, you develop liver cancer. And people are like, yeah, but he used to like to drink. Oh, he had sclerosis. Had nothing to do with getting kicked a lot. Oh, okay. Nothing to do. I'm sure he has a super healthy brain after getting pounded on for decades. That's ridiculous. That doesn't make any sense. Jesus. Jesus, yeah. Jesus. Dude, <clears throat> I have the probably the most minor of brain damages. Probably the most minor, because I stopped when I was 21. Yeah, what's your number? How many times did I get hit? <laughs> no, I mean, like, how many times what's, do you think, like, you, like, oh, that did damage? Oh, 100%. Uh, there's a, many There's times. a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them that I could think back about getting rocked and feeling my knees go. Like getting punched in, and then sp keep sparring, keep sparring, spar two more rounds with that guy, spar three rounds with another guy, he's hitting you in the face too. Like you didn't stop, it was really dumb. You'd get hit and you'd get rocked, and you didn't, nobody like sat you down and go, okay, let's take the day off. Now you get right back in there, man. Your fucking legs would go, bang! Like your legs would go and you cover up, and you'd, you'd you know, people would be throwing bombs on you, and you'd, next day, sparring again. <laughs> Can you, is there a way to detect it, like get your brain scan so you There's can see? There's better ways now. There's better ways now. But I, I had a limited amount of it. I mean, I had the real getting wrapped in the head for me came when I tried to transition from Taekwondo to kickboxing. Like doing Taekwondo, I, got, I definitely got hit in the head, for sure. But I didn't get hit in the head as much. Because it's hard to kick people in the head. You definitely get hit. I mean, I don't know how many times. I definitely got hit. But I never got knocked out from a head kick. But I got knocked out from punches before. Wow. Or at least TKO'd, I got TKO'd. But when, when a punch hits your face, it's like your, your legs go, everything like shuts off. Like if you get rocked and you, you see like a person go down, it's not that they go down like, oh, there's so much pain, I have to go down. No, you get hit and everything shuts off. It just goes, Burr! and then you, you feel your legs like rubber. You're trying to stand back up. Did you just watch the last UFC where Edson Barboza head kicked Kevin Lee? Yes. You see that? He yeah. spinning wheel kicked him, and you see Kevin Lee's legs just go boink. Yeah. They just gave out for a second, and then he came back, and those, those ones I got way more when I was boxing. Oh <laughs> I got way more of those. Like, I was, I, was, I was not good at boxing. When I first got into boxing, I was, learn I was good at Taekwondo, but then I got into boxing, I was not good at it. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't understand the distance. Taekwondo, you didn't punch in the face, you only punched the body, so you had a real distorted perception of how good you were with your hands. And then once I started boxing, I was like, ooh, this is terrible. <laughs> and that's, that's when I was taking like, probably the most damage of my life, of a period of like two years of like a lot of sparring. I did a lot of sparring. Everybody sparred. Everybody sparred with everybody. People knocked people out all the time. <laughs> it's so stupid. So stupid. I see guys get knocked out. I mean, out cold, right hand to the chin. Boom! Eyes roll behind their head. Legs give out. They bounce off the canvas. They put a cold towel on him. They put some ice on his head. He gets up. He's like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You want to keep going? Yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. No. You were just unconscious. You were just unconscious five minutes ago. 
and you want to keep sparring? This is crazy. And they'd let him. They'd let him keep sparring. You did it from when you were, like, real young, right? Taekwondo from when I was – well, I took karate classes when I was 14, but when I got super serious, I was 15. It was, like, right at my – before my sophomore year of high school. So like I got into it from the time I was in the uh, ninth grade as I was 14, like that summer, like right after my birthday around is when I started getting into time. So I was probably either 14 or just turning 15. I was gonna ask, like, was there a point you could tell where people actually could be able to knock people out and give that damage because there may be but 14 year olds can knock you out the whole time the thing about kicks is almost anybody can knock you out it's really crazy like when you think of the amount of power that you have to have like in your legs like say if you decide to put a heavy backpack on like one of those outdoorsman's atlas trainers and put 90 pounds on you could walk up flights of stairs dude just think of how much power that is in your legs you could throw your body up flights of stairs for exercise. Just doosh, hoosh, 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 hoosh. Your body is whatever you weigh, 150, 200, whatever you weigh. Your body is just launching that through the air over and over and over again. Even if you're a girl that weighs 135 pounds, you're still launching 135 pounds through the air. And if that girl fucking shins you, ba bang right on your temple, like goes across the jaw temple area like bling. your legs are going to give out your brain's going to shut off if somebody hits you perfect there's a video of uh, th I think the guy was I think it was I think it was Mighty Mo Mighty Mo who's this huge kickboxer I believe he was Samoan and I mean just, just like typical Samoan dude big giant fucking powerhouse of a dude and he fought this little Thai guy this Thai guy was 175 pounds so much smaller than him I mean it was crazy to watch and Thai guys just moving away moving away moving away and then the Thai guy roundhouse kicks him in the head this guy mm -hmm. like look at the difference in size yeah and watch this this dude just comes over the top I mean the difference between the two of them Mighty Mo is a beast, too. Seriously dangerous knockout puncher. He put a lot of guys to sleep. So not as this guy in there with someone way bigger than him, but he's in there with a killer. But boom, uh -huh. look at that. One head kick, and Mighty <laughs> Mo's down and out. This, I mean, back that up again, because that is a crazy thing to watch. You're talking about a guy who might have been 100 pounds lighter than him, and Mighty Mo's just a vicious puncher bang mm. you just clanged him right in the head that's what i'm talking about a girl does that to you night night son well, yeah i was thinking more like two 10 year olds like can no. they knock each other out that's or? a good point because the thought process is that if you teach kids technique don't teach them to just go in these wild fucking haymaker exchanges but teach them how to do it correctly it's good to do it when they're young because they don't hurt each other because they have little tiny arms and they just kind of touch each other and they, they can't really generate knockout power. They just sort of, and if they learn how to do that from the beginning and then develop knockout power on the pads and on the bag, then you develop much more technically proficient fighters rather than brawlers.